हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट मी कम अप विथ अ न्यू यूज केस रिगार्डिंग द वेयर हाउस मैनेजमेंट दिस सेशन इज डिवाइडेड इन टू द टू पार्ट फर्स्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द यूज केस एंड इन सेकेंड पार्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन अचीव दिस विथ उडू बेज ना वॉट द सीनारियो इज दैट सीनारियो इज दैट वी हैव थ्री वेयर हाउस वेयर हाउस वन वेयर हाउस टू वेयर हाउस थ्री This warehouse is responsible for manufacturing the dressing table. All the pump components are in warehouse one. Warehouse two is manufacturing for the black wardrobe, and all the pump components are procured in warehouse two. But the thing is that delivery will be from warehouse delivery warehouse only. That we can easily achieve with the resupply. We can set the uh, resupply uh, routes on the product, and the products will be transferred to that particular delivery warehouse. but now the what the scenario is that we have that customer having the demand of dressing table as well as the black wardrobe we are going to create a sell order for the dressing table and black wardrobe both are in the one sell order and we are going to confirm it so the manufacturing order will be triggered as we are not keeping the stock of that particular products it will be based on the demand so manufacturing order will be triggered but the manufacturing order will be triggered for that warehouse which we have mentioned in the sales order other info tab so only the manufacturing order will be triggered for those warehouses only but here the need is different here the manufacturing order will be triggered respectively warehouse on the confirmation of that sell order so how that will be achieved with standard udu let me go through our database we have created the three warehouses warehouse 1 warehouse 2 and warehouse 3 manufacturing is one step let's go to the last warehouse from that the products will be delivered we have we have apply resupply from wh1 wh2 because the dressing table will be resupply from wh1 and wardrobe will be resupply from the wh2 this is the warehouse configuration step number 1 Now let's check the second step which is the product configuration. So let me go to our products. So let me jump to that product which is first yeah, dressing table. Here the dressing table we have created the bomb and in the bomb let me open the bomb so it will be more clear. On the bomb we have mentioned the miscellaneous routing is WH1 manufacturing. This is also important. Now on the product itself we have mentioned the route manufacturing as well as the supply product from the wh1 this is the step number 2 product configuration now the step number 3 which is very important is the reordering rule this is the reordering rule here we have mentioned wh1 00 reordering rule here we have used the 00 reordering rule we have applied the manufacture and if the stock will not be available in the delivery warehouse it will be resupply from the wh1 This is the step number three. Now let's check our wardrobe product. Yeah, again step number one. This is our warehouse setting. That is the common for that both products. Manufacturing delivery from the product warehouse two. But let's check the bomb. That is very important. In that bomb, in the miscellaneous, in the routing, we have set WH two warehouse. this is very important now let's check the uh, our reordering rule in the reordering rule the stock will not be available in the wh2 it will be manufactured and the dl2 then it will be resupply from the wh team now the all configuration is set as we have discussed that all configuration is set we have mentioned and this all solution is applied here now here based on that 00 reordering rule we are going to use that run schedule right now okay and we are just clicking on the run schedule but before that let me create the sell order first we haven't created first so let me create we have one customer uh let me make retail customer he has a demand for the product which is the dressing table in the quantity of one one of the product is wardrobe okay one one in the other info we are going to add that warehouse as a delivery warehouse why because we are doing the delivery from this warehouse only all set 
now let me save it and let me confirm it now it is confirmed delivery we can check it it is from the DL stock now we have used the reordering rule so let me click on the run scheduler run scheduler is done now the magic will happen let me click on the manufacturing let's jump to the manufacturing orders okay and here you can see that the manufacturing order is created for both products but here you can see that the manufacturing order is created for dressing table for the WH1 warehouse and black wardrobe is manufactured in the WH2 warehouses so here by standard only we can trigger the manufacturing order for the pulse respective warehouse easily now let's jump to again our warehouse one here the products are not available let me add let me add the on hand stock for that product so let me go to the bomb components let me add some of the WH1 stock on hand content going to add the 10 so now this is set products are available we are going to click on the produce all it is produced let's check the another warehouse another manufacturing order here we can see that it's triggered for the WH2 now let me produce all now manufacturing order is done products are finished now the second part is created that resupply so for that let me go to the inventory dashboard we are going to the inventory dashboard let me group it by the warehouse so it will be more clear this is our warehouse one warehouse two based on the resupply routes here we can see that it will be go into from WH1 to our temporary we are going to validate this is done again let me go through our overview now let me group by the other again warehouse this is done let me go to warehouse 2 in the warehouse 2 we can see that it's for black wardrobe from WH2 it is validated now let me again jump to the inventory warehouse and now this is the delivery for our last warehouses all the products are transferred from warehouse 1 and warehouse 2 so if we are going to click on that here we can see that this two two are that because we have created first cell order before this test case and we are just going to validate it so this is it done now let's check our sales order that we have created let me jump to our delivery all the products you can see are available and we are just going to click on the validate and the products are transferred from the delivery warehouse it's easy this is the Udo standard we have to think differently than the whole implementation is with Udo base manufacturing order is triggered respectively warehouse which are belong to that same warehouse thank you